Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Oh, dude, you have to listen to this. Funniest podcast opening I've ever listened to. Here, listen to this. My friend Dan, he's got a podcast, cause all comics need a podcast, and nobody had a podcast called The Art of Bombing, so Dan went out and bought a tape deck, who knows why he bought a tape deck, now cast don't get played on tape decks, but Dan is from the 80s, so hey there all you funny jerks, come talk to Dan about your work, tell him all about your worst times, it's The Art of Bombing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Have you ever wondered what goes through a comedian minds when they tell a joke that doesn't work? No, I've experienced that. You've experienced it directly? Yeah, I actually tried stand up once, so I know what it feels like to bomb a joke. Whether you're an inspiring comedian or a hardcore comedy nerd, what's that must have been you, Mike? The Art of Bombing <laughs> podcast has something for everyone. From useful comedy insights to entertaining stories of bombing and failure told by the comedians that live through them, like Louis Anderson, Andy Erickson, Chad Daniels, Dusty Slay, and more. Join comedian Dan Bublitz Jr. as he sits down with comedians to discuss what can be learned from these ugly shows on the road. New episodes are available every Tuesday wherever you get your podcasts. For more information, visit them on the web at www.artofbombingpod.com. Again, that's www.artofbombingpod.com. That's fantastic. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Hey, have you heard of the highbrow dribble? No, but it sounds smarty pants to me. Highbrow dribble delivers hilarious takes from serious experts. Every week, comedian Anthony Janot introduces one of his comedian friends to an academic, scientist, politician, or expert of some kind. Oh, yeah? What do they, what do, they do? Over the course of roughly an hour, the group will offer thought-provoking topics, expert guests, and hilarious commentation. Well, that sounds awesome. Host Anthony Janot is critically acclaimed stand-up comedian who has sold out shows in Australia, England, Scotland, Sweden, and more. But we're talking specifically about his podcast now called The Highbrow Drivel. Topics range from ethics and artificial intelligence to astronomy and dinosaurs. Really? Oh, I love dinosaurs. Do they talk about owls? Every week, it's a new comedian, a new expert, but the same highbrow drivel. Highbrow drivel is available on all major podcast players and at www.highbrowdrivel.com. Again, that's www.highbrowdrivel, D-R-I-V-E-L.com. Yeah, that sounds like smart nonsense. Can't wait to listen. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Hey, have you heard of Unidragon? Yeah, that's the puzzle, dude. That's right. Guess what? They moved to Amazon. Yeah, I know. The owl told me. The owl told you? Yeah, it's all about the owl. Oh, the owl, all the owl and Unidragon told you. Yeah, we, we, we've talked about this guy before. He's the, he's the puzzle guy. He's the puzzle guy. That's correct. They do, of course, have the owl, and the owl is available for you to now get with Prime Free Delivery. Awesome. We've made it easier for people to find the owl. Yeah, I know. The owl told me about that, too. <laughs> the owl did. What did the owl tell you? He, he told me to go on to the Tech Time Radio website and forward slash sponsors. Wow. The owl is just telling you everything. That's correct. If you go to techtimeradio.com forward slash sponsors, you see our sponsor right there. And it's got a link so you can immediately click and purchase Unidragon off of Amazon. Don't get fooled by fake puzzle people out there trying to sell you imitation puzzles. Go and find the brand you can trust, unidragon.com. And again, go to techtimeradio.com forward slash sponsors because the owl will tell you no place better to buy it than with the Tech Time Radio code. Yeah, there's three sizes. Coming to you from the shores of the Pacific Northwest, keeping you up to date on technology while enjoying a little whiskey on the side with leading edge topics along with special guests to navigate technology in a segmented stylized radio program the information that will make you go mmm pull up a seat raise a glass with our hosts as we spend the next hour talking about technology for the common person welcome to tech time radio with nathan mum <laughs> Welcome to Tech Time Radio with Nathan Mum, the show that makes you go, mmm, <laughs> technology <laughs> news of the week. Man. The show for the everyday common person with insightful segments on subjects weeks ahead of the mainstream media. I'm Nathan Mum. We got Mike Roday here, David Brown behind the board. Are we going to talk about what's going on well, here? Well, hang on. We got to do our, our pre-reads first. <laughs> so if you're watching our show Saturday from 4 to 6 p.m. live at KKNW or at techtimeradio.com, you can watch the live feed there. Um, you are seeing us celebrating a big episode today. 
Yeah, we're celebrating Mr. T coming in and barfing all Mr. over Mr. T, no, no, no. So this is episode 50. So we have the five zero in the back. We got balloons. We got streamers. We got yeah, uh, there's so a bunch many, of alcohol. There's so much stuff here. I'm claustrophobic. Are you? Obviously, yeah. somebody's celebrating already. That's right. That's I, right, I, I need, uh, Yeah, I need to take a slug or two so I can relax around. All, all right. Well, well, welcome to our weekly two-hour technology show. Um, that is about current technology without having to geek out. On our first hour of the show, we have Facebook segment with Bridget Brooks on how to optimize your side hustle with Facebook ads. Uh, insights from a former Facebook employee with Instagram uh, information probably also. We also have a uh, letter that is going to be essentially that we're going to be talking about to receive high school sports. You know, if you participated, you received a letter. Mm-hmm. You now are able to do that with video games. Yeah, so we're going to be yeah. talking about that. So that's an interesting <laughs> deal. You know, nothing like want, going down as a your senior. Nintendo, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you get a letter Nintendo. That's right. You get a letter and you're walking and you, as a you still, senior. You don't, you don't, you, yeah, you don't, get, don't expect to get dates with that. No, you don't think that's going to help you <laughs> yeah, out a little? No. <laughs> okay. We're also going to be talking about <laughs> Google Photos. we got the Summer Olympics to crown a digital Olympian champion. We have Mike's mesmerizing moment brought to you by Story Coffee. We got our NFT that Mike will be working on during the show, and we got our whiskey tasting all in the first hour. Now our second hour. Woo! We're going to continue on. We got the letters segment is back, so we're going to be talking about reading email scams and funny phishing attempts. We have a feature uh, today on cord cutting, so we're not going to be talking necessarily about streaming devices, but cord cutting. What can I do to yeah, what, lower my what cable does that mean? in satellite? So cord cutting means... Right now, people pay, and we'll talk about the stats, people pay money for your cable service, a lot of money. Mm -hmm. People pay a lot of money for satellite television to watch television. Mm -hmm. What if you decided that you didn't want to have cable, didn't want to have satellite, but still wanted to enjoy the ability of live sports, the ability to watch uh, the common stations? Amazon Prime. Oh, there's just a whole whole other cycle. That means a whole different thing in psychology. Uh, What cord cord cutting? Cord cutting. Okay, so that's what we're going to be talking about here, at least on the technology side of stuff. And so that's going to be a great segment. We're also going to have a way to save money on your current existing bills. We're going to get some secrets and some tips from that. Um, Just because I have uh, internet cable, I pay seventy five bucks a month for my cable or for my internet service, and I get a gig at my house. I'm going to tell you how- Is that why you dress the way you do? Well, (laughs) no. All right. I'll be nice on the dressing. Be nice on the dressing. I dressed up for the episode here. No, you're still looking like you're on a Zoom call, buddy. Oh, well, you know what? You got your shorts on, and then you got- you no, overcoat. You know, nobody sees below the table, so you know. Well, it's, the it's magic right. of I technology do. today. Okay, well, yeah, that, that's right. You I see, get to see. You can see my white legs. All right, and then we have cord cutting. We have a story she didn't know um, regarding Sati Nudella, who is the CEO of Microsoft that we'll be talking about. And of course, where can you get all your information? At techtimeradio.com. Our site was redesigned. We got merchandise you can purchase there we got blog stories we got more information so everything you need to do go to techtimeradio.com it's pretty simple to spell out t-e-c-h-t-i-m-e-r-a-i-d-i-o it's radio you got uh, that yeah, that, you almost got it I, I, I got it so make sure you take a look at that but right now we are going to do something different that we have not done before we are going to be giving away two prizes today we got our story coffee And we got our Pulse uh, Portable EKG device that are sponsors of our show. And we're going to be giving away to listeners on the air. So normally we do it on based on people signing up and going to our website. We randomly pull a number from that. Today we're going to be doing it on the – what did you want, David? Did you say you wanted the first caller? The first caller. Okay, the first caller to call 425-373-5527 or 188-5527. 298-KKNW, that's 425-373-5527, or 188-298-5569. We're going to be giving away the first hour, the Pulse device, the EKG portable machine. So if you're interested in that, it's a $299 value. Um, gets you everything that you need to to have a portable EKG machine. Just give David a call, and the first person, he will take your name like right and now? email address. Yeah, I would call right now. If I was the person on the uh, listening over the airways, I'd call right now on that to get... That taken care of. And while we do that, we're going to start out, Mike, with our loaded question of the day. Here we go. Okay. Loaded question. What is the nicest name you can call someone? <laughs> okay. What's the nicest name? So what, is, what is the nicest I name you could call somebody? Smoochie Woodles. Smoochie Woodles? I don't know. Oh, what, <laughs> so how about what's a, the uh, nicest name you can call? I, I, a can pal? Think, I can think of a lot of buddy? other names. Buddy. Buddy. Pal. Yeah, Buddy Pal. Buddy Pal. 
That's you know what I have never heard the of. Nice of the goodbye. Never, was that's that a, goodbye? Yeah, that's a good. That's a good <laughs> nice <laughs> name to say. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. I, I I think I would probably say sweetheart would be my nicest name to do. Okay, you know that's that? co- that's contextual. You contextual. What does that mean? That means that you you should probably be saying that only to certain people. Well, yeah, I, you know, yeah, I can say it to my kids. I could, you know, Mike, yeah, yeah. nothing's <laughs> better than you, sweetheart. No, you're yeah, supposed to what, say, "Hey, you." Oh, hey, oh, hey, you. All right, Isn't that okay. how we got in trouble for that other thing? <laughs> yeah, that's what we did. That's right. All right, <laughs> so we are going to be tasting our whiskey during the show. Um, we are excited. We'll be talking about that after our first commercial break. As you can see, our whole studio's all dressed up. Streamers everywhere, balloons everywhere. Oh, my God. During, during the breaks, we'll throw balloons back and forth at each other and see if they still last here. All right. Uh, Let's on. move on to our very first segment that we do, which is our top stories in the first five minutes. What's happening in the world of technology? This is our top stories in the first five minutes. All right, story number one is up your alley here. Instagram lets users hide likes to reduce social media pressure. We've been talking uh, about yeah, this, right? So, yeah, this is this this is a blowback from I think the social media mo- documentary. Okay, okay, and, and so we've talked about this before. We had yeah. uh, Chuck Mark on here, the founder of Mark, yep. and he specifically isn't having any likes or anything on uh, Instagram or f- uh, any of the Facebooks for his social media platform that he's launching it's because it drives negative. Uh, connotations if you're not getting likes or you feel depressed. But yeah. so, Instagram now offers the option to hide the number of likes they receive on a post on the app. The aim is to make people feel like they can experience the social media giant without having to socially interact with each comment per person. Really? That's what they said. Okay. Users have the feature to enable it with the username if you follow that. And instead of you can take a look at who as a username liked it, but just not the total numbers of likes. So it's not going to go completely away. So, so it's, it's going to have little pictures. Yeah, so it's, still gonna, it's still going to feed your ego. Well, it's still have pictures of people that like it, like uh, up to four, and then it says, and others. So mm-hmm. it'll show friends that you currently are friends with that like your post, so you'll see like your top four friends okay. that will like I, it. I'm, so I'm really not seeing a whole big deal here. Well, this, t- this tool has been available in several countries since 2019, but has of course- pe- Have people been using it? Uh, they have been overseas, but they, we decided not to do it here because we are too arrogant and we still wanted to have the likes. So now they're coming on well, out with the ability to do that. Yeah, but this is this is one of the f- key features of these these platforms is that, that that's one of the addictive- Models. Models for that. Correct. So if you want to deactivate it, all you have to do is go into your settings, enter into a new post section, click on the hide like and view counts. And that means all the users that like your items and that will do your view counts will no longer be there available. So there you go. Okay. Uh, They're they're coming on out. I would like to see how this works out because I have my opinions and I don't really see this being a whole huge thing. I think that the whole idea about Instagram is that you post stuff that people like, isn't the it? Whole, the whole thing about social media is about voyeurism. Yeah. So, you know, if I'm not, then that's that's this whole deal is that people are looking at stuff and I know people are looking at stuff because they give me feedback. Correct. And they like it or they right. don't like it. And when it. I don't get it, then we, I, then we, I, I'm like suffering inside because I can't get my stuff out there to yeah. the public. I, I, get, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> All right, so Google Photo is ending unlimited free storage next week. Oh, yeah, you, so were, this is, you were really ticked off about this. Uh, so the Google did all this thing where they wanted everybody to put all their stuff in the photos. So they now have essentially uh, 28 billion photos get uploaded each week, and they have 4 trillion photos in their current database right now. 4 trillion. 4 trillion. 4 trillion. And do you realize when you upload it to Google... Uh, they actually have the access to, by the user agreement, to reuse your photos for promotional material. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah did you know that? So starting June 1st, Google Photos will cap your free storage up to 15 gigs. And I think we have some audio right here to listen to that. Google Photos uh, free cloud storage shutting down June 1. So what do we need to do? Well, from June 1, if you have any high-quality photos that you're adding to your Google storage, that's now going to uh, to count against your data allowance. Before, if you still have a bunch of photos in high quality on Google Photos, they will remain. That you don't, you're not going to get a bill. You don't have to worry of them being removed from the platform. It's if you take up any more space on the platform, you're now going to have to pay a few dollars to fit those into your to your storage. Yeah, we have to press that delete button a lot more, don't we? 
So we have to just really just upload everything we have before what? the before the we're going to talk game. about that. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what you should be doing. So get your Google Photos out now after June first. Any new photos or videos that you upload will be counted to your 15 gigabytes. So if you do it now and you put all your high res photos, they will be there for free. But if you wait till June 2nd, then it's they're only going to give you 15 gig available to have. So you Better should go hurry. home right you now only, and you should you upload only got, everything. You only got a couple of days. That's correct. The move was first announced in November. It was meant to encourage people to sign up for Google Storage, a subscription service from Google One. Google One plans start at $2 a month for 100 gigabytes of data and other features like Google Store discounts. Mm-hmm. Again, it's just the services for services. There's, Nothing's free anymore. If you're going to take up cloud services, you're going to have to start they're paying. Ju- they're, just trying to, they're just trying to monetize the stuff that... That's available, yeah. yeah. We've and, and given them have, all our information. Now we're going to pay them to get <laughs> to, to have our photos <laughs> to, to have there. Have That's correct. Photos. So you can check to make sure that you're backing up. You have till the Tuesday deadline to consider the free and exempt storage. You can go and take a look at your photo apps by going into your settings on your Google phone. Click up backup and sync and see what is being synced for your photo. So if you haven't done that yet, go right down to your settings, you're backup, <laughs> and, and get that taken care of. Thanks, David. You're getting us salute. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Story number three. I'm going to do it really quick. NetWest issues urgent cryptocurrency scam alert after recorded numbers report. So this is the bank. It's a right? hustle. So this is the National Western Bank, commonly known as NatWest, is the major retailer and commercial bank in the United Kingdom and launched an urgent cryptocurrency scam alert. On its app, urging customers to be aware of a record number of reports from June and March in 2021. The alert essentially was sent across the app mm-hmm. that said that if you're investing in Bitcoin, other cryptocurrencies, please be concerned because if they say they're going to give you high return values, there's no guarantee. So if you haven't been listening to our show, then absolutely we would have told you this probably at least 30 or 40 times on our 50 episodes that cryptocurrency is not regulated by any bank it's not if real. someone tells you they got a quick rich scream on uh Say that scheme again. there you go uh, quick rich on phonics <laughs> worked for you didn't it <laughs> <laughs> okay it was on it uh quick rich scheme mm-hmm. um that can increase your financial wealth wealth through bitcoin oh, man. and man you guys are now yeah, getting me that's not <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna so be playing bitcoin and everything essentially here's what it is if you invest in cryptocurrency and think that it's legit and the bank's gonna pay for you if there's a scam that happens that's best right. of luck to you they're yeah, not you they're not gonna it, give you it's anything gone. it's gone that's it's money that <laughs> that you consider to gambling and we considered it as equal to monopoly money so right. be careful with take that. it off and put it in a physical wallet that's right <laughs> Mike, our time is up. We got through our top stories. Oh, man. If you want to learn more about these stories, because we have the links to each of these, please visit us online at techtimeradio.com and click on the episode section uh, or the blog section, and you can get more details about each of our stories that we had. You can dive into even more details regarding cryptocurrency and the bank saying that you shouldn't be investing in it. And now we are going to go to a commercial break. We're going to have some whiskey. And when we return, we're going to have our expert a former Facebook insider. This is your favorite company, Mike. Facebook. My favorite company. Bridget Brooks is going to be here to tell us how to organize our side hustle with Facebook ads. And we also have a special Gamer Time segment after that. So make sure you guys stay tuned. And we'll see you after the first break. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Have you heard about 180 Consulting? No. I love these guys. You know how much I avoid working with copy of vendors, right? Uh, actually, I get to hear about it all the time. Not anymore, because guess what? The guys at 180 Consulting took over the entire process. They assessed our needs, worked directly with the vendors on my behalf, and helped us understand our option. No sales fluff, just good information so we can make the right decision. Well, that sounds good. How do they get paid? Their only compensation comes from a small share of the cost savings they create. They work for us, and it's a win-win. You know, that sounds like a no-brainer. There's two ways to reach them. You can get them at info at 180-consulting.com or visit them online at www.180-consulting.com. www.180-consulting.com. Thank you, Mike. 180-consulting.com. 
Hi, I'm Bernadette Page, your host of An Informed Life Radio. In an age when the term misinformation is used to silence criticism and debate about COVID-19, vaccines, and more, we're bringing you doctors, lawyers, and scientists to discuss the missing information about your health and medical freedom. An Informed Life Radio airs right here on KKNW every Friday from 3 to 5 p.m. We're starting a real health revolution, one conversation at a time. Join us. Welcome back to Tech Time Radio. I'm your host, Nathan Mum and Mike Corday. How was that whiskey? We got the Elijah Craig Small Batch. It really bit my face off. It was a. It has a really big, a uh, really sharp bite. Bite. But you know what? It doesn't have an aftertaste though. It no. it, it kind of the, the flavor. Out. The flavor's okay once the bite passes. Well, this is 94 proof. Now, last week's uh, stuff last was... Last week was 90 proof. No, it was 90 proof, and it got you a little too crazy. Oh, yeah, so I was you gotta, a little lit. You, you got to be careful with this today, so... I'm just going <laughs> to slug it all right now and get through the two hours. <laughs> 94 proof. It is $26 a bottle mm-hmm. of what we have here. It's the Elijah Craig Small Batch. It has a vanilla caramel nut and oak pop taste, is what they say. <laughs> the palate... That was a big pop. It does. It has a bold, oaky, sweet vanilla hint... That comes in lingering later. Okay. All right. There you go. It, That's you life. can smell it. It, it smells it, good. It does smell good. And you know what? It it's not as bad as uh, Kentucky's best. Kentucky's worst. Or Kentucky's <laughs> best. That that's the worst. Uh, well, the last week's was pretty last bad week too. Was pretty bad too. Yeah. That, okay. One, that one made up for it with the the amount of lit <laughs> <laughs> that you got later. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome back. Uh, we're having a great time today. It is our fiftieth episode, so we're really excited. We were going to do something really uniquely special for the fiftieth, and then I just. And then I just and then look- you went crazy with all the gold balloons and stuff. <laughs> well, no, we were gonna like do like a, a recap of everything, but I I am so booked up with we have guests and a bunch of other stuff that we really maybe on the hundredth episode I can just exit out right now so that we can do maybe a recap back of some of our stuff. I watched our very first episode this week. Wasn't that funny? Oh boy! You know you know what? There's a lot of stuff that we still do exactly the same though. Are you, so are you I- talking about are you talking about the first radio? No, no, I'm talking the very, very very first first. episode one at Studio 46, my my little office, office. my little portable office uh, away from the house since uh, COVID was there, and we had the little divider up, and we did everything. That was, that was, I was kind of, I, I was almost got teary eyed a little bit. Not really, yeah, not not really. really. Okay, all right, here we go. (laughs) Well, you know what? Let's move on to our next segment. We're going to talk to an expert here, a former Facebook insider. We're really excited to have Bridges Brooks joining us today, so let's start this segment. This is a segment we call Ask the Experts. All right, digital marketing can be hard, but it doesn't have to be. Bridget Brooks has been working for digital giants like Facebook and Groupon, and she knows the secrets to help you become informed with her simple $5 an ad per or $5 ad strategy per day Mm -hmm. uh, that attracts your dream customers and creates wildly profitable paid ads in just a few days. Okay. Bridget was joining us, so welcome to the show, Bridget. Hi, guys. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks so much. Yes, we're glad to have you on. the. So we're really excited about this. But but before we get into anything, I always like to ask some interesting questions to our interview guests. And I know that you haven't seen any of these questions yet. So you're going to be on the spot. We kind of like to do that. Um, oh, tell great. us a little <laughs> bit about your background in technology and how you got hired at Facebook. Yeah. So um, I actually don't didn't start with the technology background. I started in the advertising world uh, and I started back when the yellow pages were relevant. I was selling double trucks into the wow. yellow pages. Right. OK. Yeah. Gotcha. I, I, I remember the, I, remember the I, yellow I pages. I suddenly feel old. Yeah. I remember the yellow pages. You get those delivered at your house. Yeah. That bit. OK. OK. I, rem- I remember. Those yeah. are big. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. So. As the industry changed, I really got to kind of grow up with it and change with it. And, um, you know, I did newspaper advertising. I did local publication advertising. But when I decided to make the move from my small hometown, Prescott, Arizona, to Phoenix, Arizona, the first opportunity I was presented with was to work for Facebook as an ad creation specialist. 
All right. Oh, nice. He's from like, Arizona. See, I know. Mike's from Arizona, too. So he. So anytime... You know what? We've actually had a lot of guests from Arizona on the show. Is this the place to be? Is that the place to be? Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. not right now. We're heading into those 120 degree summers. I'm like, where can I go next? Air conditioning. That's- <laughs> is that... Uh, hey, you know what? There's nothing better. Our, our yeah. day today is pretty I think beautiful that's why I, that's, I think that's why a lot of Arizonans transplant up here. Up here because it is so beautiful because, and it's nice? Yeah, because of the, it's in the summer, it's really cool. And it's not as hot either. All right, so fantastic. <laughs> Thanks so, for clarifying that's, that. That's right. Well, it's not. We're not at 100 degrees here. No. We're not at 100 degrees here in the Pacific Northwest. We're all, it's like We're a heat stroke. The, that's yeah. right. You guys, all right. You guys melt when it gets hot. That's right. Okay, so now let me ask you a question. You worked for Facebook and Groupon. I am a horrible yes. Groupon person. Man, I used to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars. I like Groupon. I do too because you got all that. What did you enjoy better, Groupon or Facebook working with them? So the Be careful atmosphere at Groupon was definitely better, <laughs> was without it? a doubt. Was it? Yes. Um, but the for the lifetime experience, like I have built my business off of what I learned at Facebook, truly okay. and honestly. There's not a whole lot that I learned from Groupon that I was able to transition with me, with the exception of like the psychology of the sales. Okay. So she was a Groupon person. I liked Groupon too. I think I... Group- I, I, I I was just looking at some Groupon stuff today. Where you? I yeah. think it's going to start picking up again now that we can all now that, vaccinated yeah, people can we, get out. Now again. that we think things are getting back to normal, we're going to start seeing. A we'll start seeing some, some more of this stuff. That makes sense. All right. I okay. mean, I went to I went to the movie theater last night. You did? Yeah. And it, 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 you're almost the only person in the theater. I I went to the very latest showing, and I was. Alone for most of, most of the beginning, and okay. then then a bunch of kids came in. I probably hopped from one movie to another movie. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't. That's know. what I used to do back in the day. All right, okay. So we talked about over eighty percent of people today have a side hustle. That was the stat that just was released by Forbes magazine. So side hustles are huge right yep. now, right? Yep. And you know what? I I, I know that we we used to do we, something. We side hustle all over the place. We did. Remember when we used to do Uber? Yes. So we did Uber Eats when it first came out here in the Pacific Northwest, and you could make a bank in it. Now, forget it now. There's no money in it at all now. But but when we first did it, we were doing fan- – okay, never mind. There, continuing on. All right. So <laughs> what is important I, – I can go on about our Uber Eats types. Let's, let, let's, let's not. Do, let's not do that. All right. So social media. How do we start and choose a platform to advertise on? So here we go. Let's, let's get into the nitty-gritty and start learning some great information here. Yeah. So really with the platform, you have to know who your audience is. And I think that it doesn't matter what type of business you own, what type of industry you're in. If you don't know who your dream client is, you're going to miss the mark, right? Because then how do you speak to them? What platform do you speak to them on? So definitely knowing who your audience is and then know where they're spending their free time. That is the beauty of social media marketing is that all these people are here. They're spending their free time because they want to be here, not because they have to be here. Okay. All right. So explain this to me now. I, I I have a side hustle. What are a couple key aspects that I would want to do to help my Facebook advertising? So my wife has a preschool. So mm-hmm. I, this and she's listening specifically today. So she's excited about this because okay. she's she's going to be doing some Facebook ads. And so I know before she would just kind of choose friends of friends and kind of put the ad out there and see if it hit and it didn't hit type of deal. What type of advice could we use to get into your $5 a day type of model to do our side hustles more successfully? Know your audience. That's such a great question because, you know, in the digital world, there are these mega giants that are like, you have to spend upwards of $200 a day just to get results on Facebook. And that's really not true. For the small local business, it's as simple, or even the side hustle, it's as simple as using the platform to build the relationships. Um, If you have a side hustle and, you know, I have one, it's with shampoo. And when I see ladies talking about how frustrated they are with their hair, that's where I build the relationship with them. And I'm like, oh, you know what? That's, I get that. I know how that feels. It's really just being genuine and it can be done for zero dollars, right? You're building it organically from the Facebook platform. Once you know you've got a message that works organically, that are bringing people in, that is converting organically, that's when you put money behind it. And it can be as little as five dollars a day. 
Okay, so does that mean I have to sign up for a bunch of groups then? So I'm in a, a 150 different groups, and I need to go and take a look at each of the people talking in those groups and, and adding information in there. What would be a strategy for... Groups are great. Okay. Groups are definitely great for that. And, you know, there has been a huge emphasis. Mark Zuckerberg has made it very clear that he has plans to spend his time and money with groups. They're the fastest for organic reach. So is it a great place to start reaching out to people? Absolutely. You don't have to join 150 though. Like okay. that's going way overboard. Go join five, join five that are things that you are interested in, things that um, keep your attention. For me, I love overlanding. I love overland all over the U.S. So I've joined all kinds of overlanding groups and made a beautiful community because of it. All right. So so I I, I don't understand what overland I, is. What, yeah, what is it? So, so, so explain to me, what is overlanding? Now I'm, I'm very so interested. So it's like off-roading, but long distances. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. So like uh, RV type of uh, type of group. Is that what you're saying? Well, there's no. lot, there's RVs too, but typically with like the off-road groups that I'm in, the overlanding groups I'm in, your vehicle has to be able to go into small spots. So a lot of them are four by four trucks, side by sides, those type of vehicles. Oh wow, okay. So it's just, yeah, there's a lot of places to do that in Arizona. There is. is, is there, um, there's no trees. There's no trees. So you can, so you can go well, out and have. In northern Arizona, there's tons of trees. That's all it's full of is pine. What was that? Don't tell. Don't let anybody know that. Why is that? Is that? A, is that the it's, like it's, northern everybody California? Thinks, everybody thinks it's like this dark, desert. ugly desert, but it's not. It's, it's really, not. There's some really, really beautiful places in there. All right, so I'm on a bunch of forums for green eggs because I like to barbecue stuff. Right, I'm a big barbecue smoke. guy. Yeah. Smoking, smoking, and, smoking. Mm-hmm. So if I wanted, how would I engage those people? Let's say I wanted to sell them something, which I, I don't. But if I wanted to, how? What is the proper etiquette? to engage in those type of deals. So I'm just not throwing out there, hey, look at this, look at this. Contribute. Look at this. How, how, how do you go yeah. and have that conversation in the group so that I'm not the Amway salesperson? Oh, and, man, and, and, there are and, so many of them. And, 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 and I don't mean anything about Amway bad, but I'm, but I'm trying to say that type of person. Yeah, no, there's people that actually teach that and there are so many of them out there. So one really quick way that I can suggest is just be your authentic self. If you're trying to pitch someone, you're going to lose them. They can feel it. They can see it coming a mile away. But I believe you said, um, Nate, that your wife has a screen printing shirt oh, no, company. No, no, she has a preschool. Sorry, preschool. preschool, preschool. Oh, preschool. Yes. So a great way for her, if she was in that community to reach out is maybe there it's not necessarily local people. But she can be sharing her experiences. And it could be something like tales of a three-year-old, today's latest escape at whatever, you know, preschool they're at or um, today's lunch dilemma or whatever the case is, because that's the true stuff that people want to hear. So how many how many hours a day do you dedicate to this this organic stuff? Yes. It's really how fast do you want to scale, right? So if you want to be bringing in the money quick, be dedicating five hours a day. If you're like, I'm good at part-time, one hour a day. But the more that you can see and test, if your message works from an organic standpoint, the more your message is going to work successfully from a paid standpoint. All right. So you develop the relationships organically, right? right. So, so now now that I, and do you friend them on Facebook? Do you become friends with them or do you just try to kind of stay in the, the groups with them so they know who you are. What's your next step? Because I, I, I'm not a big Facebook friend guy. I got like about 500 people that I kind of like, and during political times, it gets down to about 200 people, and then, <laughs> then, then it goes back up again type of deal. So so should I be friending those people? Should I be interacting with those? Or- I mean, friending is great from an organic perspective, yes. However, if you're using your personal profile on the Facebook platform for business purposes, you're actually in term, in violation of the terms of service. I, thought I knew that. So the next step is you've made that report, start seeing like uh, for the preschool, who's engaging with that? Who's responding to it? Who's, who's listening to it? Who's looking at it? That's gonna tell you, okay, this is the type of people that when I run a run ad, that I should be targeting. This is what they look like on Facebook. This is what they, who they look like on Facebook. All right. So now the, Facebook doesn't make it easy, right? So, no. so, so explain that to, because I've tried to do ads and we've done ads for our radio program. We've done ads for many different things. And the only options I ever get is like, choose a state, 
I get choose friends of friends type of deal. And, and, and it's really was tough for me to figure out what type of market to target. So I probably did exactly what you shouldn't do is what you're going to tell me. Cause I chose all the United States and I chose friends of friends. And I said to do $15 in ads for seven days. Okay. So for what it sounds like is you actually boosted a post. Oh, that's what and, I did. Okay. That's what I did. What I did. Yep. <laughs> yep. Sorry. Yep. Okay. Yep. And boosting a post is not bad. It's a great way to stay top of mind with your current audience, right? So you have a business page. They've liked your business page. That's where boosting a post is great. But when you want new eyes on your product, on your service, that's where you actually want to go into business manager inside the ads platform and build out your Facebook ad. Now, the golden nugget I'll give you on that, which I probably just a lot of people are like, what? The ads platform? Super easy. And if you want the best targeting, when I worked at Facebook, our rule of thumb was for every $25 a day that you're spending on the platform, your potential audience reach should be roughly 500,000 people. So if you're not spending $25 a day on the platform and you're only spending $5 a day, you don't want your potential audience reach to be more than 150,000 people. You can do that and still target the entire United States, but then you get into your layered targeting. Ah, oh, so okay, so so if I get that, so I, I may be starting to figure this out because I've probably done this the wrong way, like everybody else has done. So I just used Facebook to do my boosting of posts, but you're telling me I should do because I had to download a different app on my phone for um, the, the, the business manager. But you're saying, is there a client on the PC? Do I just type in something different on Facebook to so go in your business page? If you go and hit Ad Center right? It drops you into the page that shows you all your boosted posts and all the analytics. Okay. If you hit the blue hyperlink at the bottom, it says see more, and then it will show you more ads. Then it will have another blue hyperlink at the bottom and it says ads manager. That's where you want to be. And that's where all the magic happens with Facebook ads. It's ads manager. I've yeah. never been there. Have you been there before, Mike? I don't know. You don't know? Because <laughs> you did some Facebook there, stuff, right? Yeah, there's, there's so many different ways of Doing this for each platform, it's insane. Okay, so so I think so, but okay. I'm old. So okay, well yeah, I wouldn't say you're that old. Yeah, you're I'm old. older than you. Uh, okay, that's right. All right, so let me ask you this now: Should I do more than one platform, Bridget? So now should I once I start figuring out uh, the well, what page she's ta- what you're talking about is specific to Facebook, right? So it is. However. Other platforms, the omni-channel presence that you can have are only going to make your Facebook ads more successful. I don't know about you, but I tend to click on Instagram ads. I am an Instagram ad junkie. Like, I love clicking on them. But the first thing I do after I go to their website is I turn around and I Google their business. How, where are they showing up? Who's reviewing them? How are they showing up? So you could be running the best Facebook ads in the world, but if you don't have an omni-channel presence or it's not a strong omni-channel presence, you're still leaving money on the table. Ah, so don't be investing in the Google until you figure out Facebook is what you're saying. Bing. That's that's exactly <laughs> what I got from that. I, so I do pick, up, stuff. Stuff. I, 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 I do pick up on that Google, type of deal. Google's insane. You have to start at like $50 a day on Google in order for it to work. You do. That's yep. not the case with Facebook. Okay. But they, they keep changing the algorithms and everything all the time anyway. So uh, all, the, all, all of the companies do. So they can yeah. make more and more money and, and have you engage expertise. Yeah. But if I wanted to be an expert, so maybe I'm going to have to sign up for, maybe. for Bridget's class. You might have so so just, yeah, yeah. yeah. just gotten yeah. a client. Yeah, so I can find no, out more. If you want to be your own ads boss, meaning you want to understand exactly how to manage profitable ads on the Facebook platform, from a former Facebook employee, then be your own ads boss online course is definitely where you want to be. I take all my knowledge of the 20 years that I've been in the advertising industry, the time that I've spent at Facebook, the time that I spent at Groupon, and I dropped it all into a course. It's super simple. It's in bite-sized consumable pieces. And each module is anywhere from 10 to 16 minutes. So it's not going to take your whole day to get through it. All right. And where can we find out more about that? So that you can actually go to my website, which is www.velton.co, or I have actually a free gift for anybody watching the show today. You can go to beyouronadsboss.com and download my free Facebook ads guide. All right. Well, that's right, yeah. See, look at that. There so we go. 
So give us that uh, address again. So we'll make sure to post that, of course, on our uh, web page so people can find that too. What was that again, yeah, Bridget? Absolutely. That's be your own ads boss. Dot com. Be your own ads boss. Dot com. Be your own ads. Now is it ads ads spelled correctly? Yes. Because there's, there's so many people spell it add. You know, that's because <laughs> no, you're ADD. Yeah. Is that what I am? Because yeah. I'm ADD. I, I see that all the time <laughs> on print material. And I'm like, well, oh, it's AD. Come on, people. All right. Well, Bridget, thank you so much for joining Tech Time Radio. Thank you for joining our 50th episode. You get to be. Thank you for having me. Yes. Happy episode birthday that's incredible i'm honored to be here for it yeah all right, all right. you and want some balloons we got plenty <laughs> we got plenty we got so many on the floor too let me just tell you it was so much fun filling these up thank you very much for joining the show we are definitely going to have all of our links and information at techtimeradio.com so you can re-listen to this and you can get your free ebook make sure you absolutely do that Bridget, have a great day today thanks guys take care thank all you all right bye-bye so that was informative i didn't know about the page manager thing now you I- know so I bet you I've boosted posts you forever. You know the, the thing the thing about it is is that we're at a disadvantage. What Maybe I'll talk about that in in, in, in your in Mike's in mesmerizing, mesmerizing moment. Mesmerizing okay, moment, there you yeah. go. Maybe we do that. All right. Well, we're gonna take a commercial break. When we come on back, we have a segment that we haven't done for a while. It's pretty good. We got some stories we're gonna be talking about gamer time. on gamer time. It's not games and video game stuff, but it's games and information about technology in today's world. So we'll see you after this break. Did you know that up to 12 to 15 percent of Americans grind their teeth at night while they sleep? Hmm. Yeah, it's it's called bruxism. I used to work at a sleep lab and we used to we used to measure that. And it leads to a lot of uh, problems like headaches and destroys your teeth. It wears down the enamel and it's just very hard on your your mouth. So every once in a while I'll wake up, my jaw will hurt. Do you think I'm grinding my teeth at night? Yeah. Well, so how do you go about protecting this then? Uh, the number one recommended way of protecting yourself from a teeth grinding is what's called a night guard, which is a custom fitted prosthetic that you put inside your mouth. It usually runs, you know, hundreds of dollars, but I know our sponsor Smile Brilliant can get you custom fitted night guards for as little as $45 a piece. So if you go to smilebrilliant.com and use Tech Time Radio at checkout, you can receive 20% off your complete order. So visit smilebrilliant.com and use the Tech Time Radio at checkout code. Welcome back to Tech Time Radio. I'm your host, Nathan Mum. How's that whiskey tasting? The Elijah Craig Small Batch, Mike. Uh, uh, yeah. It's, it's got a bite, does it? Yeah. It got. It was worse the second. It's got second worse the second slug. time. Yeah. Uh, my, I, th- I thought mine was actually a little bit better. Again, we are sampling for our pick of the day, the Elijah Craig Small Batch. Um, hopefully, we don't, are we going to have like two two down? Who cares? Two downs. Uh, hopefully, not not in a row. Okay. All right. We're going to move on though to a segment that we haven't had on for a while. That it talks about all the games, mover and shakers in the industries that we know regarding virtual reality, game marketing, and such. Let's start gamer time. All right, story number one, Gran Turismo headed to the Olympics to crown a digital Olympian June 23rd. Now, we talked about this originally when we talked about the Olympics having this, and we were kind of made a little bit of fun with it. But no, we are down to the top 16 contestants now. Already. So, yeah, so they've already had their deal. The the first time ever we're going to have a sim racing uh, game that will be included into the Summer Olympics. It has the 16th fastest drivers that it's had over a two-week trial period. Okay. So these guys have been playing online well, and, and I, trying so to do this. I can I get this over card games. You do get it over card games? Yeah, because, I mean, we've got hand-eye coordination stuff going on here. So that, may, that makes it. I mean, it's not complete sports. So the guys that play these have full uh, get-up gear. They got brakes. They got foot yeah. pedals. They got steering wheels. They're not doing this on your little handheld joystick. It's a full-blown right, most of them are sitting it's in still a, hand-eye a coordination, right? It is. That's absolutely correct. So well, we have our uh, PlayStation announced on Wednesday that they will have all of it streamed on the TV screen so you can watch it for the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. All right, we have 16 drivers. They took 11 days to claim their spots into the finals. 11 days. 11 to do. day pre qualifying. Huh? Just think of all that time. What are these kids doing all these days? See, they, they're just I, sitting I, around I, playing I, video games I, for I don't all know. Those maybe, days? maybe I was born in the wrong era. Uh, no, I, th- I think it was, I think you were born okay, Harry. I, you think, think so? I think so, yeah. All right. But we have 
our virtual series uh, have this. We now have Valero Galileo, who is from Italy, who sits at the top spot. That's, so a, Ital- name. That's a name right so, there. So you know what? So Italy has a chance to win the car racing champions at the Olympics. Isn't that where the go Rio for the Gran gold. Turismo is. is- um, some of they have some of the tournaments there themselves. What's very interesting is this oh, this individual uh, Valerio Gallo is a s- Galileo. Is it Galileo or Gallo? Gallo. Sorry, I said okay. is Gallo. Oh, essentially has. I just suddenly. You, know, you didn't like it as much. I, I did, said Galileo uh, yeah. first. Yeah, uh, Galileo piqued my interest. Okay. But now that you said Gallo, I'm thinking about a wine commercial. You're thinking about a wine commercial. Ernest and Julio. Essentially, he is the um, main lead person for Williams eSports team. Okay. So there, there's like an eSports team. Oh, yeah. They, they, these yeah, teams I compete. know. These guys, these guys got corporate sponsors and all kinds of crazy stuff. It is. He's the GT Sponsor National Cup Online August 2020 champion. Yeah. And he has his own profile on driver database like for professional bet. drivers. So they consider him a professional driver. I, I don't understand that. It, but, it, it, in in his information. So he is now well, listed as a 20-year-old. Let's put him in a real car. Well, Let's yeah. put him in a real car and set him on a real track and okay. see what happens. Well, you think this that's crazy? Wait till you hear story number two. No, high I sc- already know it. I know. High school varsity sports now have <laughs> Super Mario Brothers <laughs> Ultimate <laughs> and Splatoon 2 yeah. that you can letter in. I know. So let me ask you this. Are there JV teams in dun, video dun, games? Dun, 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 what, dun. Happen, what happens if I try out for Smash Brothers Ultimate and I'm not good enough to be on the varsity yeah. squad? You get to be so JV, but you, you get a little letter. So, so uh, I have to put it in, and maybe I and can you're not swing. And you're not going to prom, buddy. I'm not going to prom? No. Can I swing you up? You might if go I'm... to a virtual prom. <laughs> A virtual yeah. prom itself. All right, so this is very... Nintendo is expanding its esports efforts and moving into high schools. The company has announced a new partnership with Play VS, which will soon see games Smash Brothers and Ult, Smash Brothers Ultimate and Splatoon 2 as varsity athletic sports starting this fall. Yeah, the, the, okay. Now, I, but what's it, interesting... It, it actually makes a little sense, though, given the, given the current climate. Okay, uh, it, it does. Because we, can't, we, we haven't been able to do regular team sports and... Uh, so there's, there's so we so we got these teams. Well, these are these are like individual games, though. Right? Oh, I know. I play both of them. Oh, you play both of them. Okay. Yeah. Well, do you also play Mario Kart? Oh yeah. Well, Mario Kart is going to be added on probably next year as a varsity right. sport. And do you know what's interesting is they're going to be new releases. They're going to try to do every year now, so that you have to get the new release to complete. That, that's on not that. a. That's not a that's surprise. A, what a smart marketing strategy by Nintendo. I'm going to come up with new versions of each of our products each year, update it just a little bit to balance it, so make it more even, and then have people all go on out. Because if you're in these varsity sports, you all have to have the the game, right? So you're going to have to go on out. Well, yeah, you and, and have switch, the game switch, and you got to do this is all, all right. This is all switch devices, right? I, I just can't wait to see the person that has lettered in Nintendo's Splatoon uh, yeah, and that's... Smash Brothers walking down the uh, line <laughs> right next to that guy that lettered in football uh, and uh, say, yeah, "Guess what? I'm a that... dual letter sport person." Look at me and look at. Me and the guy says, "Yeah, I only got one in football." <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure how it's going to play out in the high school social scene. But, I, you know, I hey. don't. I don't know if it would either. Story number three. This is interesting. Activision is giving in-game bonuses for setting up security logins. So this was an so, interesting so, uh, story too. So Activision is giving you in-game. What does that mean? So what that means is Activision, the company, large, large mm-hmm. uh, video game company. If you go in, uh, that was the, like the very original. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, the guy swinging and he had the <laughs> alligators. You jumped on the heads That's for right. it and everything. Oh, that was such a great game. Um, Activision, big um, Call of Duty, right? That's their right. big, big game that people play. They got a lot of other games, but Call of Duty specifically, if you enable dual authentication. So what happens is so many people have come in to the video game scene for Call of Duty and I guess have taken well, other people's credentials. Yeah, to play online, and then suffer and do really bad as that online deal to have that player rank down. So, right? Did didn't we do a story about the FBI getting involved with Call of Duty? Was yes, it Call we of did. Duty? Yes, it was Call of Duty specifically okay. the same thing. So now they were fixing matches. They were fixing matches, Which- <laughs> and, and the esports people were betting on them, right. and, and they were having these people that weren't making the same amount of of so, points or kills per deal for the for their items. So dual authentication. Yes, that which means, means that when I log into my Activision account to play Call of Duty, I also have to have my phone have have a- and or another device that says, yes, this is me. So I hit OK and continue on with that. 
and then I'm allowed to play, and essentially they're enabling me to get double experience oh, points if one. I have this taken care of. That's funny. And so supposedly, um, from the I do not play this game, but supposedly that double experience points is so great that they had over sixty percent of all their people within the first two days of doing this sign up and get it taken. I, I believe care of. that because getting double experience points in these games are big, big. Big payout. It is. If I can just get to level 50 on Sea of Thieves, then I can become an ultimate pirate. I so, still, can, still can't yeah, get there, right? Supposedly. I'm That's a legendary right. pirate. I know. Right? I'm not there yet. <laughs> okay. All right. So make sure if you are playing any of these games make, uh, from Activision, make sure you sign up for dual authentication because you will be able to get double the points itself. All right. Well, we're going to head out to a break. When we come on back, we have Mike's mesmerizing moment. Pick of the day is next. We'll be right back with something that will make you go, hmm. Mm. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Hey, have you heard of Unidragon? Yeah, that's the puzzle, dude. That's right. Guess what? They moved to Amazon. Yeah, I know. The owl told me. The owl told you? Yeah, it's all about the owl. Oh, the owl, all the owl and Unidragon told you. Yeah, we, we, we've talked about this guy before. He's the, he's the puzzle guy. He's the puzzle guy. That's correct. They do, of course, have the owl, and the owl is available for you to now get with Prime Free Delivery. Awesome. We've made it easier for people to find the owl. Yeah, I know. The owl told me about that, too. <laughs> the owl did. What did the owl tell you? He, he told me to go on to the Tech Time Radio website and forward slash sponsors. Wow. The owl is just telling you everything. That's correct. If you go to techtimeradio.com forward slash sponsors, you see our sponsor right there. And it's got a link so you can immediately click and purchase Unidragon off of Amazon. Don't get fooled by fake puzzle people out there trying to sell you imitation puzzles. Go and find the brand you can trust, Unidragon.com. And again, go to techtimeradio.com forward slash sponsors because the owl will tell you no place better to buy it than with the Tech Time Radio code. Yeah, there's three sizes. <laughs> yeah, there's three sizes. That's right. There's three sizes on the... Uh, uh, Unidragon. That was something I just quipped off at the end. You just had to put that in there. I did have to put that in there, didn't I? So make sure if you want a Unidragon puzzle, uh, I got one of those for Get my the son. Owl. Get the owl. Get the owl. I really like the owl. Yeah. Mike yeah. likes the owl. <laughs> That's right. Make sure you get the owl. Don't get anything else because the owl is the one that Mike likes. And um, I bought one of those for my son for his 21st birthday, but I didn't get the owl. So I still have to get him the owl because he wants you to sign it. So that he yes. had to have a yeah, we talked out. about that at his he birthday did. party. He did. That was absolutely correct. All right. Well, we're going to move right now into Mike's mesmerizing moment. This is Mike's mesmerizing moment, presented by Story Coffee. Visit StoryCoffee.com. We were talking earlier about maybe we have a disadvantage because uh, even though we we grew up on the cusp of the information revolution. Yep. We aren't adapted to it as well as our, our, the younger audiences. So they have a better understanding of how to do things more naturally because they've adapted and we have trouble adapting to it because we were not, we're not involved in it quite as much. So the things that we're talking about with Facebook and things like that, uh, I think younger people have an easier time of figuring out all this stuff that yeah. you, that you were talking about struggling with, and I struggle with it too. I mean, uh, I have a hard time with with social media. It doesn't it doesn't is doesn't make as much sense to me as I would like it to. I, I you know what, I, and I do, and so I, I really wonder. I kept on doing all these boost posts. I probably that's the last thing I probably needed to do to to drive new audiences. I need to find out. All yeah. this information. There's just so much well, information to, to it's get cra- the experts. It's crazy. It's nice it's, to have you them. have it. Yeah, you have to have somebody who understands how this stuff works explain it to you because it's it's incredibly uh, difficult for especially for us who have who are not attuned to it as well as our children. Yeah, you know, I I still remember DOS, right? I mean, kids don't remember yeah. DOS. Change directory, lookup directory, mm-hmm. look for the exe file. You'd launch that type of deal and these new kids they, I mean they just my son and, uh, and other people they just watch these YouTube videos mm-hmm. absorb this information it's like they just have a, a wealth that's, of knowledge on this technical stuff that as right. much as I can They're, watch stuff that's I can't the keep adaptive behavior of the human human being and the, the, the dark side of that the, the problem is that is that uh, they are adapted to a situation in which if it goes away yeah. they're going to suffer more readaptive issues 
than we will. So if, if all the if the internet goes away tomorrow, me and you will be just fine. Yeah. Our kids are going to have a lot of problems a coping of problems with that. All right. Well, we're going to move to our pick of the day, and then I got information about what we have on the next hour. So pick of the day, we got Elijah Craig Small Batch. <laughs> Oh, this may be the second time in a row. We got two thumbs down. It, it's got, for me, for me, it's got too big of a bite. Okay, up front, which yeah. which overtakes the flavor right away. The was, flavor's good. It's, I like it's the good flavor, afterwards, but, but it's just way too much of a bit bite to yeah. move through that. All right. Well, hopefully you're going to be joining us for our second hour. On our second hour, we got lots of information we're going to be doing. Yeah, uh, we called. we have our letter segment. We have our cord cutting segment. We got a way to save money on your cable and your internet service provider. Uh, we have a secret to um, give you lots of discounts on your internet needs. We have stories you didn't know with Satya, Satya New Delhi from Satya, Microsoft. Satya New Delhi. Uh, I'm Nathan Mum. Thank you for joining us. Bye bye. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on Tech Time Radio. We hope that you had a chance to have that hmm moment today in technology. The fun doesn't stop there. We recommend that you go to techtimeradio.com and join our fan list for the most important aspect of staying connected and winning some really great monthly prizes. We also have a few other ways to stay connected, including subscribing to our podcast on any podcast service from Apple to Google and everything in between. We're also on YouTube, so check us out on youtube.com slash tech time radio all one word we hope you enjoyed the show as much as we did making it for you from all of us at tech time radio remember mum's the word have a safe and fantastic week